Sure. Thank you. You're standing in front of the online ceremony mm. burial policy of incredible significance in this country. Uh, you have hindered with discipline by so many prime ministers who promised constitutional recognition but never delivered. At this point in time, do you think this referendum would have a better chance of success if there was bipartisanship and in good faith? What are you prepared to do to extend your hand across the aisle to try and find that point of reason and agreement? Well, um, I, I do once again pay tribute to Unipingu and uh, it is a conversation that I will remember for the rest of my life on the day that we held the press conference and announced uh, what the government would be forwarding in the question and in the constitutional change, uh, to know that uh, he was watching that press conference held in the Blue Room uh, I regard as a great honour. And uh, he did say to me uh, in that conversation uh, that it was good and also that uh, I spoke truth when I said to him uh, that, uh, that uh, we were serious. He asked me after the Gama speech, was I serious? And I said, yes, the government was, because he had been let down. And that's why it's so, um, in my view, disingenuous for people to argue that we should just put this off. That people who have worked so hard to get to this point should be told, oh, stop working, most of them volunteers, full time to get constitutional recognition. That bear in mind, but John Howard, uh, John Howard argued that as Prime Minister should happen yeah, more than a decade and a half ago. Uh, this has been on the agenda for a very long period of time. And if not now, when? If not now, when? And uh, the idea uh, that the impediment uh, is... Uh, is Leave the Prime Minister there, of course. Uh, again, talking about the voice to Parliament, we will see what the Liberal Party decides on that as well, because that meeting is happening right now.